Quaker Bar Pier, and I'm on something new. I'm not on an Indian. I'm actually on a Harley Road King. 2021 Harley Road King. first or not so I wanted to do something a little different today I wanted to pick a used bike we have and uh, staring at me I want to pick kind of a used bike we have but I decided to not go too far off of Indian kind of a competitor of Indian um, so I chose the Harley Davidson Road King this is from 2021 um, this actually only has 174 miles on it. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Hardly Road King. Uh, just a little bit of specs, not too many, cause this is, this is my, you know, I've always loved the look of a Road King, but this is really my first time riding one. So um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of specs and give you my honest opinion about it. And just by riding it for the, you know, for the last couple of minutes, um, I do have some things to say about it. So let's begin. The Road King motor is a 107 Milwaukee 8. You know, the Milwaukee 8's been around for a few years, yeah. Uh, I don't know too much about the motor. The, there's, so there's two types of Road Kings. Just skipping right over the motor thing. There's two types of Road Kings. There's the standard, which I'm on right now, and then there's the special. Now, the difference is kind of like if we're, I'm gonna kind of compare it a little bit between um, the Indian Springfield because it's, that's what it's the most similar to, that's what it's most comparable to. The special is completely blacked out. Um, it has, I, where the standard, which I'm on right now, has chrome finishes. The standard comes with the windshield, the floorboards, engine guards, uh, hard bags. If you're looking for functionality, you're, you're definitely going to go towards the standard. Um, if you want to go a little bit more customization, I would definitely lead you toward, towards the special. Not saying you can't customize this. This is very customizable. That's one great thing about the Road King too. You know, you, you have the street glides, you have the road glides, they have the fairing on them, and you're kind of limited to, you know, kind of playing around within the fairing, I guess is the, is the right way to say it. it you, you have to, everything you're looking at for the street glide or the road glide, you kind of have to take into account that you have a fairing, right? With the Road King, you have, um, you can change out your bars and make it look a lot different. You can take off your windshield, you can put another windshield on it. Um, so you, it, it's a very customizable bike. You know, I'm not bashing on the street glide or the, or the road glide. Uh, they're uh, they're they're great bikes. I've never actually rode the road glide, so I can't really. I don't I don't want to say. I, I've a lot of people have them, so I think it's a great bike. Um, that's what I'm basing it off. of. I have rode the street glide, and it is very comfortable. It's it's a it's a great bike. Um, but I kind of wanted I, I wanted you to take that into account if you're looking for something a little a little more to customize. Um, but you know what, this is a great touring bike too. You have that big windshield and I am gonna hop at the highway eventually. I'm not on the highway yet. And right now I'm gonna kind of feel it in the turns. Um, it does have a smaller wheelbase. Oh wow, that was, that was nice. Um, it has a short, a smaller, a shorter wheelbase than my Chief. Um, and so it's kind of, it kind of just likes to get in the corners. And it's smooth. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting rattled around. Some har like the older Harleys, uh, when you're kind of at a stop sign, you're kind of strike on a lot. Um, but when I was when I was kind of at that stoplight back there, I didn't feel like, and that guy was staring at me. I I wasn't shaking that much. 
And um, a big difference I'm, I'm going to tell you about this and the Springfield is that I feel, I think a bigger person, like I, I'm so comfortable on this bike. Like this is kind of like the way I love to, to sit on my bike. Um, and I'm actually trying to get my bike to feel like this. But I think someone, I'm 5'6", so I think someone taller than me, which there's a lot out there, um, might feel a little cramped on this. But there's, you know, but I'm guessing there's extended reach seats, there's handle, uh, higher handlebars. I do have this giant backrest behind me, which is very comfortable. Uh, you also have uh, engine guards that you can put pegs on. And you know, when I first got on this bike, I was a little worried about the handlebars because when I was looking at it, it looks like the handlebars kind of went up and then out, like up a little bit more, you know? But they actually, they're very, very, very comfortable. Like I would love these handlebars for my, I would love these handlebars for my Chief Dark Horse. But my Chief Dark Horse is also a lot longer base. Also, I had a lot of trouble finding neutral. Actually, I never found it when I was at that stoplight. You know what? Th this bike kind of fits me perfectly. I really like this bike. But I'm 5'6", but I also have long legs. You know, I'd, I'd rather my upper body be closer to the bars than my lower body be stretched out because I can put highway pegs. That's just, that's just me. Some people are opposite of that. You know, some people like to reach forward on their handlebars. So, but I, I don't, I like to have that bend. But I took a advanced skills class and this is what the, and we were taught by police officers and this is what they rode and they could do anything on this. Um, so you have the potential. I mean, you have the potential to do almost anything on any bike, but I was seeing proof with this bike. I hit the highway soon. I did want to say that I think they could add a little bit more to this bike as in, okay, it does have cruise control. That is important, but also there's, there's not much on the, on the screen. I mean, there's nothing. It's just a little odometer. It's a 2021. I feel like they could have added a little bit more to that. Maybe RPMs, gear, um, fuel, actually fuel gauge would be awesome. Maybe I, oh, okay. There's some more stuff here. There's more, okay, we're about to hit the highway. But there is some more on here. Oh, so you can get the gear, okay. Okay, you know, I, I actually kind of like that because, you know, lesser is more, I guess, for me. You know, I, I like the kind of classic look and the classic look is just that this, but you have the ability to kind of go through those to see um, maybe your gear. Um, what I had to get used to was the, so I don't ride Harleys very often. This is great. It's kind of cool Airstream up there though. I think I forgot to put a license plate on. I can't really, I'm only going 50, so I can't really give you the full experience of my windshield. But you know, all in all, no, I'm not going to do it all in all. Yeah, it's not conclusion yet. We're on the highway. Um, but this bike, it's a six speed and it's handling highway really, really well. Actually, does it tell you what gear you're in? Gear slash RPM. Oh, oh, I like that. So I'm going about 70, very comfortably. I'm, I'm almost at, I'm at 75 now and I'm very comfortable. Uh, I don't feel like I'm pushing it at all. I mean, I shouldn't, like this bike should be able to handle that speed limit. But also, um, what I wanted to try was the was the windshield. The windshield is doing really well. Um, you know, it's a little tall for me. Like I don't, I'd rather look over it than through it. But in this in this case, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But no, this bike is so comfortable. And maybe if like. I have some more room in the back, but the back seat, the, the rider backrest is just pushing me forward a lot, I feel like. So I, I think, you know, there is, yeah, there, there's more room if you need it. And especially if you get that extended, that extended reach seat, you, you'd have a lot more, or maybe even higher handlebars, which a lot of people do on the Road Kings because they look really cool. 
Um, but the Road King is just, especially the standard, it's just your classic looking motorcycle. When I think of Harley, a lot of times I think of the Road King or the Fat Boy. Um, and the Fat Boy because of the Terminator, of course. You know, if you're looking for kind of a all around comfortable bike, the Road King's perfect. You know, if you don't want something that has the fairing, um, you don't really care about music too much unless you want to listen to it in your helmet, anything like that. If you don't care about navigation on your screen, you can get it off your phone. If you want the bare minimums, the stripped down touring bike, a Road King is definitely a good option. Um, and this one's at Twig Cycles right now and there's only about 180 miles on it. So it's barely broken in and I'm breaking it a little bit more. Oh, where are you going, buddy? We're here at ambulance. Uh-oh. And I'm completely flat-footed on this. A slight bend to the knee. Let's see if I can find neutral. But I think I'm in neutral, but it's not coming up. No, nope, I'm not in neutral. Oh, oh. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I ho hope it was informative for you. Um, and I know it's a lot different than what I've done before because I've usually had Indians. But I want to do, you know, shake it up a little bit. So I chose a Harley. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to tell you the one thing. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. That's why I want to do pictures down here. But I do want to tell you the one thing I absolutely despise about Harleys. And I know Harley's never going to change it because Barca Barb told them to is the kickstand. Every time I put a Harley down, I feel like the bike is gonna drop. And I know people are always like, it's never gonna move, it's never gonna move. It just locks in place. Well, there she is. That's what I was riding. That's disgusting. 2021 Harley Davidson Road King. If you don't remember, it says all over the bike, so. But it was a, it was an awesome ride. I've always loved the Road Kings, like I said, but I never, it met my expectations. Actually, it was better than my expectations. It was very smooth, very comfortable. Yeah, see how big that backrest is? I, it does really push you forward. You can even see. I hope you enjoyed my video. I kind of just wanted to give you my first impressions of it. Um, I didn't really want to do like an in-depth video because I, I just don't know enough about it. Um, I did some research on it. But I, I hope you found this video informative. Um, I ha hope um, you'll come and come down and see see this beauty at Twig Cycles and Biker Barb out.